We don't know when New Jersey's economy will reopen, but today the governor's newly appointed Restart and Recovery Advisory Council, comprised of hundreds of business leaders around the state, began envisioning what that reopening could look like, according to council co-chair and NJEDA CEO Tim Sullivan. How does that translate into what it means for restaurants versus grocery stores versus parks versus beaches versus you know churches? and other faith uh, uh, communities is going to is going to vary quite a bit so this is a great opportunity for for the state to get input from from those places in advance while those plans and, and ideas are being drafted the council is comprised of nine subcommittees representing diverse segments of new jersey's economy legislation is moving through the state house designed to protect residents hurt by this economic downturn and that includes one bill that would establish a 100 million dollar emergency rental assistance program for those who have lost income. But as NJ Spotlight's Colleen O'Day tells us, that bill's got an uncertain future. Governor Murphy keeps telling us the state is in dire fiscal circumstances. So when legislators put up bills that need to spend money, there's really a big question about what will happen. Uh, last Monday, the governor vetoed several bills that had much smaller price tags than the ones that um, the legislators are now working, advancing through um, Trenton. For more on Colleen's story, go to njspotlight.com. Millions of Americans have lost their jobs and now they're about to lose their health insurance. A new report by the Urban Institute finds if the unemployment rate hits 20%, 25 to 43 million people could lose their employer-sponsored health care, and that includes 700,000 in New Jersey. The report was funded by the Robert Wood Johnson Foundation. Catherine Hempstead is a senior policy advisor there. There's this relationship between work and, um, and insurance for a lot of people, and when that relationship gets disrupted, there's not a great safety net for people. But Hempstead said New Jersey does have far better safeguards than other states, including expanded Medicaid. RWJ Foundation is an underwriter of NJTV News. Now here's a look at the day's trading on Wall Street. I'm Rhonda Schapler, and those are your top business stories.